Here we are at Drexel University in Philadelphia. We're just one hour away from the start of the main draw of the Delaware Investments US Open Squash Championships 2011. The venue is nearly ready, the finishing touches are done, but it's such a sight to see. I thought a video tour beforehand was worthwhile. It's actually situated in, as you'll see, the home of the Drexel Dragons. We're coming in the, the back door. And this is it. You're instantly greeted by the refreshment area. Here's the spectator area where you can see you've got tables and chairs, manufacturer stands, VIP area there with lots of food. The glass court is behind that screen and up there you can see there's a video screen that will be used to broadcast the um, proceedings to the spectators. But what we also have, they said they were having a big screen. That is a big screen. We also have over here what they call the squash zone where spectators can test their skill either at speed of shot. John White holds a record at 172 miles an hour. Cameron Pilly came close yesterday at 170. He's aiming to beat that this week. Or you can have some target practice here. You can play on the Wii. We sports in there. This is where the spectators will be coming in, um, lined by flags as you can see. Lots of merchandise to buy. So that's the spectators area. The middle section is where the glass court is. It's a standard uh, McWill court as used in Virginia I believe. And one of the features you'll notice different classes of seating. We've got preferred seating, not bad. You've got general admission, which gives you a side view. Premium seating, which gives you the best. There's, we have a number of English players as well. Botswana as well played today. Alistair Walker, Pete Barker, Mohamed El Shibagi sitting in the premium seat. There's Zach Alexander who qualified last night and uh, is straight back on again. Replays for the video official, the spectators can see here and the players will be able to see it there. The best seats in the house of course are reserved for the players. Fantastic looking seats there. Conor O'Malley, the event director, has been working like a demon for months on this. So that's the glass court area. Room for 1,200 spectators. Whether we'll be full today, not sure. Oops, I will see it goes well. In here, we have the little media area. This is where uh, all the updates from usopensquash.com uh, via squash site, or powered by squash site as we say, will appear. And in here, the squash TV room where all the live coverage and the TV broadcast around the world will be coming from. Then going further into the back of house we have a volunteer area, all the shirts getting ready for the volunteers. You can see there's going to be a lot of volunteers here, there's a lot of shirts. Um, US Squash have really got behind this. The local community, the businesses, sponsors are really getting into this event. Tournament office. Connor, how did you get here so fast? Tournament director Gus Cook over there. Been uh, working on this for months, I guess, as well. No? Okay. Uh, so that's the tournament office. Somewhere back here. Yeah. And then the players are well catered for as well. We have uh, the physical therapy room where the physios and doctors will look after them. And the player lounge. You can see well stocked with uh, food and drink, TV screens and yeah, nice comfortable seats too.
So back out into the main arena. As, you, as I say, we're uh, just one hour away from starting. We'll have some more videos and coverage once the place fills up, but it, uh, it did seem worth having a little tour of uh, this fantastic venue just before uh, everything gets going. Hope you agree and hope you'll tune into the coverage either on Squash Site, US Open Squash or Squash TV. Steve Cubbins signing off from Philadelphia.